hello everyone welcome to my your programming club today we will be solving another daily lead code problem and the problem's name is find the winner of the circular game so the problem statement goes like this you are given n friends that are playing a game okay and the friends are sitting in a circle numbered from 1 to n okay let's uh, describe uh, let me describe this problem in my own words so what is happening here is so let's clear the board a little bit okay so first of all there are some friends let's say five friends n is equal to five they are sitting in a circle such that if you are at a particular friend and you go in a clockwise direction then you will get if you are at the ith friend then if you go in a clockwise direction you will get i plus one th friend okay so it means that they are sitting in a clockwise direction like this okay so and there is a number given to you which is k so let's say it is given to be 2 so what you will do you will start your game from the very first friend and from the very first friend you will start your counting and count two friends including including the first friend okay and which is equal to k from the number count k friends whenever you will be stopping your counting and uh, wh whosoever is the person at which counting is stopped that uh, one that person will be removed from the game so here two will be removed and uh, he or she just lost the game and can no longer participate in further rounds of game so now once we have done it if there are more than one friends remaining then what will you do you will go to the very next person to the just removed person clockwise direction which, which is now three and you will start your counting of k friends again and whenever the on whosoever the counting stops or is the kth friend you will again remove that person and start from the next clockwise person okay so again when you will be able to count k friends you will be remove that person and start from the next clockwise person okay so there are only two remaining five and three so five is the second person so five is removed now only one person is remaining in the game and he will be the winner okay so this is the problem statement uh, we can have a quick re uh, we can quickly read this particular problem statement also so more formally moving from clockwise from ith friend brings you to the i plus one th friend okay the so rules are as follows you will be starting at the first friend count k next friends in clockwise direction including the first friend that you are starting at okay and the counting wraps around in a circle okay so you have to keep the keep in mind the nature of circular positioning of friends the last friend that counted uh, that was counted uh, among k friends will leave the game and loses the game at as we have done in the simulation and if there they are still more than one friends then you will keep repeating these two steps okay and whenever there is only one friend left in the game then you will declare him the he uh, him or her the winner of the game okay so this is the whole problem statement and we have to just return the number of the friend who is the winner of the game so let's have a quick look at the constraints also so according to the constraints the so number of friends is of order 500 and k will be either less than equal or equal to n and there is a follow up also that can you solve this in linear time and constant space so we will try to do that first of all for that we have to make some observations so let's try to make them 
so let me clear the board here So I think now it's clear enough then we can begin discussing the problem. Okay, let's begin. So what we will be doing is let's say the given input is n is equal to 5 and k is equal to so we will somehow try to relate that how the number of if let's say the number of friends is n and we want to find a winner then how will this be influenced or can be derived from if we know the answer of winner of n minus 1 friends with same k same key value okay so we will be seeing how we can derive that so let's take some examples so let's say the group size or the number of friends is 2 and k is equal to 2 so that case you will be having two friends one and two okay in this direction circular way so you will count two friends two will be the second friend and it will be removed so one will be declared as the winner okay as you can see here now if let's say there were three friends instead of two friends so one and three okay in this they are sitting in this starting from one removing the second friend then starting from three removing the second friend so you can see the answer is three okay so in this way we will keep doing it and these will be the winners okay these are nothing but winners so in a way if we know answer of what will be the previous winner for let's say this is the current group size and if we know and let's call this g s z if we know the answer of g s z minus 1 then we can very well derive it derive the answer for the next size okay how we can do that uh, let's say the answer was of previous was here let's say it is 1 okay for size 2 we know that the answer was 1 so from 1 we can count 2 friends okay So two friends will be these friends and what will be the friend at which counting will be stopping it will be three okay so you can see that this particular will be the answer so in every case this particular formula is holding true okay so let me describe what and how this formula came up so since we are taking considering the circular nature of the arrangement in which the friends are sitting so we will take modulo with respect to the group size the number of friends okay. because if let's say you are at four and there are only four people and you want to see what will be the next person so in that way you should be having some way so that four plus one should be resulting up into one okay 
so for that what you can do here is basically you can take modulo if you take modulo with respect to 4 then it will give you 5 okay so in a way it will keep repeating for example 1 plus 1 uh, it is 2 and then modulo with respect to 4 will still be 2 so if there are friends like this so whenever you are at 4 and you want to go to next it will help you okay modulo 4 so in a way this is a way to get the numbers that's why we are using modulo to represent the circular sequence but there is a little catch here that this modulo ranges from 0 to n minus 1 if let's say there are n friends okay so in a way you can say that it will not be the correct numbering of the friends so actually this is your first friend okay and this is your nth friend so you can very well see the relation between these the index of the friend and the actual number we have to just add one to it okay that's why we have added one now what is this thing okay so since it is a zero based indexing okay so the if we uh, count from the very next person okay uh, who is a winner then in a zero based indexing we will be including this one also and then we want some k minus one extra friends to uh, keep a total of k friends okay so this way this formula will help us to determine the uh, answer for the current group size if we know the answer for the previous group size which is just one less than the current group size for example if we know how may, uh, who will be the winner for group size of 2 then we can very well uh, see what will be the answer for group size of 3 so let's try to do that so previous winner here was 1 and current group size is by the way 3 so previous winner 1 plus k minus 1 k is here 2 okay and modulo group size group size is 3 so 1 plus 1 modulo 3 will give us 2 so this is not the number actually this is the index of that friend so we want number so we should be adding 1 so it will give us 3 okay so you can try with all these values and have a dry run of this formula now you know how we derived this formula okay so by making observations between the relation between these numbers we came to know that okay this will be the rel relation previous winner plus k minus 1 okay if we are starting our winner from or previous winner from 1 okay in case the number of friends is 1 and k is also one then you will for sure say that okay uh, there is this is a no brainer situation one will be the winner since he is the only one in the group okay so let's have a quick look at the implementation how this formula is used in the implement so this is the implementation so we will be starting from the winner in a way it is a pre it is our previous winner or, or you can say the current winner for the group size of 1 if group size is greater than or equal to 2 then we will enter this loop and our new winner will depend upon the previous winner so new winner for the same value k value will be remaining same so it will be fixed in a way and for rest all the values we will be calculating the subsequent values will the, with this formula okay so by substituting the values we will be getting our current winner okay 
and time and space complexity wise as it was required in the problem statement it is order of n linear time complexity and space complexity is constant so if you are having a little difficulty in trying to understand uh, the correctness of the formula or something then please have a dry run of all these cases starting from 2 3 4 and 5 then you will know how we are proceeding here and what's the reason of taking this modulo and everything for modulo i can give you a little explanation for example if there is something like this so there are 12 markings in a clock okay and this is one if you are at the 12th hour and you want know what will be the next hour so next so the next hour will not be the 13th hour so in order to find the next hour what you will be doing is 12 plus 1 modulo 12 okay so this will give you the next hour so this will continue happening uh this fashion okay so that's why we are taking the modulo I hope it is clear to you if you are still having some doubts or any queries in general then you may ask them in the comment section I really hope this solution works to add some value to your journey of owning your DSS skills I will see you in the next video till then keep solving more problems and keep practicing thank you for watching